She's digging. She is into it, bro. Maybe this should be your loyalty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this nice. Oh, wild. He's getting. He's getting pissed. Huh? New UDY drop. Is he cheating on her with his fans? Crazy. So you don't think that we could have pulled this off in Vegas? Crazy. I feel like he would have been oh suspicious. He's always out here in LA for mm -hmm. gigs. And oh my like, God, what both is he gonna the decoys expect? are he here. Drive all the way to here. True. Oh, I'm gonna come all the way out here to spawn him. He'll probably yeah. think like, oh, I'm they in another city. The There's no way she's gonna know. <gasps> but, uh. Today we're helping Christina test her boyfriend's loyalty. His Holy name is Tristan. Shit. On a scale of one to ten, how confident are you that he's going to pass the test? He cheating, bro. <laughs> will Tristan remain loyal to Christina? <laughs> that boy cheating, bro. Yeah. Or will he end up trading and cheating on her with our decoy? I hope you guys got your talkies for this one because you guys. Wait, it's just one decoy? I thought both of them were. This is gonna be good. So both Christina and Tristan are driving all the way from Las Vegas to LA today for the loyalty test, separately, of course. Now, we did consider filming out there, but decided that it'd just be better to shoot out here. So hopefully, they both get here safely. Ooh. My boyfriend's a musician mm -hmm. and he does gigs. He get paid to like sing and play at events. Uh -huh. But there's so many girls at these places and mm -hmm. I have no clue what he does. And I just. So you, so you don't have like any trust in him yeah. whatsoever? I want to have trust in him, but the feelings I get, I, I just, I don't know. In order to further understand why Christina wanted to test her boyfriend, you guys gotta. I mean, okay, I, I can understand, but at the same time, it's like, just cause you're feeling insecure, don't make it seem like that's their, the other person's fault. Understands her past. This girl has not But had at the, the same time, you should be any making other, like, your girl feel secure in the relationship, especially like if you do something like that. Or anything like that. Yeah, always. Always. Always, yes. Like, I'm, I'm secure enough to know that my girl that wouldn't cheat. just wants cheat. to hit and leave. No. That's and, I'm se and she's That's secure true. enough to know that I and wouldn't so cheat on her. And so the previous one I had so like, lasted 12 days. Well. But no. And I'm, I wouldn't. <laughs> Literally, Listen, I can't. We were going out for like seven months, and he asked to. me to be his oh girlfriend before. I don't understand he, how trust. people do cheat. He asked me to be his girlfriend before. Sorry, guys. I said no. I'm just yeah. Because I had these feelings, and then I finally what said yes about? because he was the only guy I'm with, and I'm like, okay, I, I have fun with him. And then I'm like, I'm looking through his Instagram following, and I'm like, oh, there's a bunch of models and stars on here. <gasps> oh. Immediately out. I said on the screenshots, I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. Models and he was following. And see, okay. are you friends with her? She doesn't know you. You are a fan and you're following her. So as you guys can see, crazy. Christina's pretty cutthroat with things. However, with Tristan, it's a little different. Being that he's a musician and he performs at different venues, he's bound to meet and follow other girls. Is he following these girls for networking and professional reasons though? Or is it for pleasure? It's his job. So I get he follows other girls. That yeah. So that's obviously I'm not gonna cut you off immediately. That's yeah. your job. But you know, what are you doing behind closed doors? So you've caught him lying to you before? I always ask him these questions, like, oh, you know, where are you going? Who are you with? And he's not telling me. He's always trying to beat around the bush. And then mm. saying, oh, well, you're a model. You're going to the similar parties, so why are you getting mad at me? Now, as you guys just heard, Ooh. Christina models. So given their work life, I think it's fair to say that these two have a bit of a back and forth relationship where one is accusing the other of talking to someone else. I think he's just trying to save himself. Gotcha. Yeah, by making okay, me I the understand problem. it. Have you guys ever? I understand what she's saying. Like, it's. Like, oh, that's a terrible pause. Sorry, girls. Uh, I understand what she's kind of saying. It's kind of like, bro. E it's tough, though, because she's also a model, bro. <laughs> tried to talk about boundaries, like things you can do, can't do, what's appropriate, what's not. We have talked about it, but okay. honestly, I just can't tell. He follows so many girls. When you do shoots with guys, do you follow them on Instagram after? Like, sometimes I do. Okay. But, I mean, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's always different with girls, you know? Oh, brother. Not the fucking double standard. Come on, girl. You, you, you're better than that. Come on now. Like, anytime we follow a dude, sometimes it's literally because we're just friends. But with a guy, mm -hmm. what other reason are they following models on Instagram? Because they want to be friends? Christina does make a valid point. And although I do want to stand up for the men and this incredible double standard, Standard, I won't because we're here to help Christina, not argue. So since Tristan is a musician who gets right. hired to play in He's LA right. all the time, we're just the trying plan to was to hire him to play at a birthday are. party later That's tonight. It. So let me ask you this then, so why He's not right. just break up with him? Why not just? Because I love him. Part of me loves him. And, you know. No, you? if he fails, he's actually, like, brain dead. You're literally. But the thing he, is. No, if he fails, I'm actually going to be mad at him myself. Because <laughs> what the heck. I know. But the thing is, men just want all types of bad bitches. <laughs> they, they literally. Why have, is it, like, never enough? Like, you can never be that's satisfied. Because they just want attention. That's how, they want to know that they can pull. I'm, like, so. I'm, I feel really bad because she. Already came out all the way from Vegas for this, too. Okay, okay. She's not. Okay, okay. But hear me out, bro. She's not entirely wrong. She's not entirely wrong at all. There are some 
Niggas out there who are in a happy ass relationship, but sometimes want to know if they still got game, bro. It's she's not fucking wrong, bro. On a scale of one to ten, how confident are you that he's going to pass the test? <sighs> Probably a three. I'm not a one of those. Three. Yeah. I, I couldn't are care less about for a fail then. Any other woman's attention? Immensely, I think I am. Yeah. Like, do I want to trust him? Yes. Yeah. Do I want him to not fail? Yeah, but. Damn, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm really it's just sorry. up to him and God right now. That's all we're leaving it to. I feel that. No, I feel uh -huh. that. Yes, true. If God is like trying to get him out of my life, then it's going to happen today. Yeah. Let's hope that his intentions are just to get the bag and go. Yeah, right? that's so fat. That's what he's here for. So him coming here is for the gig. All he's got to do is just bring you up. Just be like, I have a girlfriend. Oh, I love my girl. See, that's in the John. perfect world. Hey, bro, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Anytime, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping. anytime, and like, and like, like my coworkers and shit like that, bro, and and like, and and places when it's it's girls talking to me, I always, always bring my girl up in conversation. I I don't know. I didn't. I just that, feel like that's but, something you, know, you do something when, you when you know that you're today. you're deep in love oh, with somebody and you know you're never gonna cheat on her. I don't know. Do you think it's always been like this? Definitely our day and age, due to social media. One hundred percent. Oh, all the rap songs these days too. Oh, oh my God, especially Future. You ever listen to him? Yeah. Talk, talk about if I cheat on her, I'll never tell her sorry. Oh. <laughs> what? Like. If she kiss me cheating, I will never tell her sorry. <laughs> I'm glad she brought that shit up, bro. I'm low key glad she brought that shit up, bro. Is she can be cheating? I will never tell her sorry. Yo, Future was crazy for that line though. I'm not gonna lie. All the rappers talk like, oh, I got 10 bitches. Like I go to strip clubs. I think that. Yeah, but like this, they, they were rapping about shit like that before social media, girl. Like you, you can't just say that. The only reason why it seems like that is because social media is around and it's capturing more of this shit. But this was happening since the, the start of time, bro. In, yeah. That Cheating. definitely adds to it, because now all the men these days want to be like their idols. Now, contrary to what you guys might be thinking, neither Madeline nor Violet is going to be our decoy today. We actually hired Fonty's girlfriend for the job. You guys remember him, right? The man who Wait, tackled what? George. Let's go! Stop! Let's go! Stop! George! Stop. George. Fonty! 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 Yeah, so since Tristan was a musician, we wanted our decoy. What the? George. You guys remember him, right? The man who tackled George. Let's go! Stop! Let's go! Stop! George! Stop. Stop. George. Bonty, Bonty, Bonty. Yeah, so since Tristan was Holy a musician, fuck, we I need to see that episode. knowledge in his genre of music. And as you can see from these pics, Fonty and his girlfriend Kenzie were the perfect candidates. After giving Fonty the rundown, we shared Tristan's number with Kenzie and she began hitting him up. Supposedly, she got his number because mm. she heard him playing mm. at a venue in LA and asked the venue for his information. Kenzie would go on and tell him that she was throwing a birthday party and she wanted to hire him and other Damn, musicians I thought both to of them was gonna be the As usual, she offered him some pretty good money and eventually Tristan agreed. With everything set, we booked Kinsey's home and flew the couple out. Damn, yeah, 6K? these guys were rocking out in London. Fonty and his girlfriend should be at the house soon, but they're taking a minute, so we came to grab some chub. You know, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Um, I'm glad they're not using those two for the 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 decoys because I feel like these videos get so many views, and like UDY is just a known person that at some point he's gonna like try and do it, and then the person gonna be like. Ain't you that bitch from UDY? Like, and, and then it's over, bro. Pope late in the meantime, because we are hungry. What up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way from wild. London. Good oh, to see you again. London? Fonty, we got Fonty in the house. <laughs> hey, what's up? Kenji, right? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Sergio. you. Sergio. With our decoy finally now here, all that was left to do was make sure Tristan was almost here. we go. Hello? Hi, Tristan. I was just making sure you're still coming early to like check the setup and everything like that. Yeah, I'm about 30 minutes out. Okay, perfect. And then you got the gas money that I sent you, right? I did, thanks for that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no problem. Just let me know if you need any more. And then I just wanted to let you know, I have a meeting right before you. So whenever that's done, like we're all good to go. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, just let me know whenever you get here. All right, see ya. All right, bye. And with that, we finished setting everything up, got into our positions, and waited for Tristan to arrive. Dang, I love he wanted one of them to be the, the decoy, though. All right, you got this. Obviously, flirt. Do what you gotta do. Wow. Don't flirt too much. Yeah, don't flirt too much, nigga. Oh. I'm here. She's calling. I think he's here. Hello? Oh, he's here. Hey, I'm at your place. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll meet you at the front. All right, see you in a minute. All right, sounds good. Bye. Bye. This is wild. All right, um, check it. You can flirt with him. Not too much. Oh Because you up. know I'm gonna be in the background. I'm watching Shut you. Shut up, come I'm on. I'm watching you. God, fuck you, don't. He's a. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh wait, he's coming. <gasps> oh my god, here he's coming. He's I don't coming. know this other girl's name. I, I, I know he said it earlier, but I forgot it. Hello! But How I know are Violet. You? She was Doing in the last good. one we watched. It's so nice to meet you. He looks a little... I mean, he looks like he could pass. Is it what that mean? This is Fonty. He's gonna be performing later, but hey, I just had a meeting what with up, him. Man? You good? Yeah, decent yourself. Hammered, honestly. Sweet. Yes. Love it. All right. I'll see you later. Yeah. So, All right. eight. Eight yeah, p.m.? Yeah, eight. Cool. All right. Fucking well, Amber out like, Remember how <laughs> Kinsey told Tristan that she had a meeting before his arrival? Well, that meeting was with Fonty. Yeah, tonight's gonna be really fun. But yeah, I'll show you where you'll be performing. To make this thing realistic, Fonty was pretending to be an artist who was also performing at Kinsey's birthday party later tonight. Hopefully instead of feeling singled out or that this is weird, Tristan instead thinks, oh, she's probably meeting with everybody that's performing tonight. I was thinking somewhere right here, if that's okay. I have friends coming. They're gonna like move this table and everything like that and make sure nothing's in the way. That way you have as much room as possible. Um, is that okay right here? Yeah, I can work. I really hope okay, he passes, cool. bro. Damn, he sounds like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> How was it in there? That guy's a f <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's the craziest thing to say off a of first impression. That guy's a tool. I like him. Really? I he no. He looked sweet. He gripped my hand and like, was like trying to fucking like, oh. Oh, like one up me. I was oh. like, I, right. I kind of see that. I kind of see that. I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of see that. Inside because my neighbors are just That testosterone battle right there, bro. But yeah, I'm really hoping tonight goes well because it's my birthday. And so definitely happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely I'm happy birthday. Older, he kind of you know, sound like I left during a good party. <laughs> Our test was in full swing, and it's funny. This man gave a look when he found out where he was gonna be playing, but money talks. Chris Evans, bro. All right, well, I brought you over here. Reason one, to check out the space and everything like that. Reason two, I was wondering if you wanted to play two sets tonight. Um, one at seven and one at 11, because I wanted you to sing happy birthday to me. Your second set can be like three songs, but I was making sure if that was okay with you. I'd be happy to do that. Okay, perfect. Well, we can also sit down so we don't have to stand the entire time. So since you'll be playing two sets, I definitely will pay you double. I'm not gonna cheat you out of money or anything like that. But yeah, my friends showed me like videos of you playing and I was like, oh my God, I fell in love. I know some of you hate when I do this, but we are gonna pay this man for his time. Maybe not everything, but we are gonna give him something for driving out here. How long have you been playing for? No, I, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. You know, there's probably gonna be a lot of hurt people in the comments of all, if he does cheat. If he doesn't, then give him the whole thing. But if he doesn't, uh, if he does cheat, I think it's still fair to give him some money, bro, because it's like, bro, you you didn't got this man to drive all the way out to Las Vegas or uh, Los Angeles from Las Vegas. He deserves at least some money, bro. Send him back with some money or something. At least even him out or some shit. I don't know. Uh, most of my life. Oh, wow. Yeah, my dad always wanted me to teach the guitar, but my nails are too long. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Alrighty, Josh, you can cue Madeline and Violet to make their entrance. Can I need to turn the car off. Okay, I'm gonna leave my bag turn here. Turn the car off. I'm in the car. Yeah. Have you talked guitar right? before? Right, he wants to be yeah, sweating his really? ass off. Oh, I've had a lot of students. Really? So, yeah. Oh yeah, I bet they all fall in love with you. I got the balloons. I got the balloons. Yeah, and I'm not strict or anything. So like, if you feel, if you want to stay for the party, definitely feel free. You can stay. We can take shots later. And then if you don't have anything going on after the, tonight, because you're not gonna be performing the whole night. Yeah. So yeah, if you definitely want to hang out and party with us, you can. He has a professional tone to him. He does have a professional tone. He doesn't seem like he's trying to oh, flirt with her. I think that might be catering. Here goes Violet and Madeline. I oh, her name is Madeline. Oh, yeah. Oh, Adeline you're not Violet. catering. Violet, Hello, Hi. guys. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hello. Madeline and Violet are pretending to be Kenzie's friends that are here for her party. The goal is to make this thing the more believable. The wave is so... Oh, this is Tristan, by the way. Oh, hi. He's going to be playing Tristan. the gig tonight. He's singing me happy birthday. Oh, oh. This, is the, this is the cutie, the hottie we were talking about? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Tristan. So excited to hear you sing. I know, he's going he's gonna to rock the place. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. If yeah, I was I him in this situation, I'd be like, oh, yeah. drunk I'm already. Like, it was pre gaming. I won't pee. Yeah, don't open them. Don't open but them. I honestly oh. feel like that's enough balloons. No, we should fill it. Madeline and Violet are supposedly responsible for filling the home with decorations and balloons. They came over to get a scope on how many things they will need. Life's boring when you don't have nobody to talk to. Holy. Got like a, that boy just texting, bro. He don't give a fuck. Oh, that would be so too. cool. Is he still texting her? Not looking at them. Damn, he's on his phone. They're supposed to be trying to get him involved into the conversation. <laughs> they just started talking on their own. This is perfect. He's not looking at their asses. 
right? Because that would be the perfect opportunity, right? How long do you think we have? I think like three hours. It's true. Oh my like, so god, that was like, locked up, that bro. <laughs> like, do not look at their asses. It's not dirty. This is making me feel better. I said, Good shit. Got it. Here's the problem, though. If this guy doesn't end up actually cheating, he is going to be so pissed that she did this to him. Uh, we got so. I feel like, bro, I'm sorry to pause it again, but like, I feel like, bro, when it comes to loyalty tests, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Because even if they don't cheat and you reveal, oh, I did this loyalty test, they might be like, hey, man, you, I, you clearly don't trust me. And now I don't trust you because you just set all this shit up. I'm out. Or they get caught and the relationship's over. It's kind of like a damn if I do, damn if I don't, bro. That's the thing right. about these. You got it. Y'all are so right. <laughs> I've only well, seen like a handful of these where like it the person was, I know, this was didn't this cheat me feel really and they good, revealed actually. it was a loyalty oh, okay. test and he was fine with it. Attend to here. Oh, I'll leave you guys <laughs> to it. Oh, my God. Don't have too much fun with this. I'm watching you. Get out. And so with that, Madeline and Violet successfully complete their mission. Oh my gosh, they're ridiculous. Oh, sorry about that. Also, shout out to Tristan for passing a little mini test, I guess. He did. Don't let Madeline and Violet know that he didn't look. Okay, perfect, where were we? Yeah, like I said, we have a few people coming, they're bringing like the lights, the amps, stuff like that. Your girl's really ringing him in, I see why she got you. Hey, <laughs> listen. Oh, ringing him in, she is something. not gaming him up at all, bro. He doesn't seem like he's... Chin. I thought about, it'd be cool if you played in the garage. We can go look at it, I'll show you. All right guys, come on in, come on in, come on in. Okay, so in here, I know there's a lot of stuff in here, but we can get everything cleared out. Kinsey takes Tristan to the garage under a false excuse in order to give us time to sneak Violet, Madeline, and Fonty upstairs. But I mean, we could set up like a stage right here. I don't See, know why is the door open, y'all? The acoustics. I mean, it's a birthday party, right? It's not like a full show, so I'm not. Yeah. Sure about the acoustics, but it's gonna get Hurry up, y'all. That is, it is stuffy. It's really, it's really stuffy in here. Um. I don't know. I feel like inside would definitely be better, especially I feel like this place echoes so bad. I don't know. You could do your second set in here. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Stay still. Don't star. drop nothing. <laughs> you know, whatever. Whatever the cool Yo, rock that, star wants. Right, I well, think that's his wife now, inside. but like she's been with this nigga since the <sighs> start of this yeah, channel, bro. Yeah, a lot better in here. With everyone now safely in our control room, Kinsey was free to take this test wherever she wanted. I definitely am really excited to see you perform. I mean, like, the, like I said, the videos that I saw of you, you looked so good. Is it actually you playing or is it recording? It, you can be honest. It's 100% me. Are you sure? Yeah. What part of Vegas are you from? I live near the Arts District. Oh, I've I like heard this it's guy. Like a lot like LA. I really hope he doesn't it cheat. It is and it isn't. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I've never been. Really? I really want to go. All my friends always tell me to go with them, but I'm always scared it's going to end horribly because their trips always end terribly. I'll have to come whenever you're there. Hit me up. <laughs> I will. Mm. Yeah, I'm from Mississippi. Mississippi. The polar opposite of LA. I, I didn't hear an accent. Oh yeah, it's gone. I live in LA. <laughs> Damn. Do you ever miss Mississippi? Absolutely not. No? Absolutely not. Not at all. It's horrible there. I hate it. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah. I mean, my family's Miss there, but other than that, I mean, there's nothing there. Like LA has everything. Definitely. I like your boots. Thank you. They're actually torn up. They're my going out. All right, girl. Chill out. He just said he likes the boots. It's not like a, oh, I like your ass. Boots, so of course, wow. I don't know what's gonna happen to him tonight. What do you think of everything so far? <sighs> They're not, fl he's not flirting, but. If I could say something, his f knee is just like up, like perched up. I think he's just crossing his leg, isn't he? Yeah, he's just crossing his leg. Yeah, I think he's just trying to find a problem with this nigga because it's his girl that's the, the decoy. <laughs> that boy said, look, at, if I could say something, don't you think it's. <laughs> Wait, where are my glasses at? Oh, I gotta use. Wait, perfect, he had shades on. N nigga really said. He said, if I could say something, he actually has his knee up, and uh, I don't think I really like the way that looked. Fuck is, like, bro, what are we talking about, dog? He's just crossing his legs, bro. He's just crossing his leg. Oh, no, it's too close. He's like, back up off my girl. For the record, I don't like your boyfriend. Whose loyalty test is this? <laughs> for real, bro. Have you played like for any house parties or is this your first time? loyalty time? test is this? That's fine. That's fire. fire. That's fire. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was a fire ass comeback. That was fire. Really? Well, it's been a long time because we started playing like house parties. Yeah. And then it was, you know, bars and then clubs and then theaters and then big open air. Dang, I should have started my crazy. buffer. So this is like 
<laughs> I haven't gotten the call to do a house party in a long time. Oh, well, I'm glad to bring it back to you, bring you back to your roots. Damn, honestly, I didn't know this man had it like that. No wonder he made that face when he found out he was going to play in the dining room. Clearly, the money we offered him, though, <laughs> is the reason he said yes. So how many people are in your group or your band? We're a four-piece. A four-piece? <laughs> like chicken nuggets? Oh, my... <laughs> I never heard anyone say a four piece. I have a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I think you should play me like a preview of what you're gonna play tonight. Did you bring your guitar? Well, of course you brought it, but where is it? It's in my car. We can go get it. I wanna kinda wanna see it like before everybody else does. Something about a man with a guitar. It's something about it. I love it. I it's, a, it's honestly bad. I should get out of that habit, but I love him. I love him so much. And it's my birthday, so, you know, we can go get it. It's, you didn't park far, did you? Down the street. Okay. I think we should walk there. Sure. I'll come with you. Let's go. All right, let's go get it. Oh, you lead the way. I have no clue where we're going. <laughs> that's, that's true. Oh, opening my own door for me. Thank you. You lead the way. I don't know where you park. I don't see this as a fail okay, yet, bro. No, I, I don't. doesn't feel too good. It's starting to feel worse, bad. It's like, it's not. It's not terrible. Blatant flirting, mm -hmm. but it's, you can tell. Being that he had nowhere else to go, Tristan had been planning on staying in the area until it was his time to play, which explains why he was nonchalantly just hanging around. Cause technically at any time he could have just been like, all right, are we done with the meeting? I gotta get out of here. But where was he gonna go? I mean, he did mention that he knew some people in the area, but maybe they just weren't available. Oh, it's yeah. a nice case. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. What kind of guitar is it? I've no, I don't know anything about guitars. I don't even know why I'm asking. <laughs> Let's get to the preview. I'm so excited. I'll try not to disappoint. Let's figure out the best place for you. I mean, suck. at the same time as a musician, she's asking for a preview and it's her birthday party and he's probably doing this because he doesn't want to upset her and he wants to get paid. So it's kind of like customer service. I can understand that. If that's the route he's taking, I'm not freeing him from anything. I promise you I'm not. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate here. That up. And now he probably maybe wants to just kind of... Now she's asking for a preview. He wants to be okay. like, okay, maybe I'll Perfect. give her something so that she holds over to the show and hopefully I don't disappoint her or whatever. It's okay. Even if it's out of tune, it's fine. Well, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can still remember how to play. Oh. Damn. <laughs> you getting mad, yo. You serenading your yeah, girl, he's bro. Yeah, what he does. He's surprisingly really good. What the heck? She's digging it. She is into it, nigga, bro. Maybe this should be your loyalty test. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bro, she ain't acting. She ain't acting, my nigga. Maybe she into that, bro. Maybe she she's liking it, bro. She's biting her fingernails. She's like, oh my god, bro. Maybe this should be your loyalty test, dog. Because look at her. Wait. Oh, this nigga nice. That's wild. Let's do something a little bit. Oh, that nigga yeah. nice. Wait a minute. <gasps> I love this song. Really? I do. Oh. Oh, he nice. He's get he's getting pissed. <laughs> Your girl is into him. I don't know, bro. I don't like him. Hey man, you don't like him because he's 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 about to take your bitch. <laughs> about to take your bitch, nigga. He don't you don't like him because he about to take your bitch, nigga. <laughs> Look at how she's into it. I don't care if you think she's acting nah, nigga. Right, this is the one time actors ain't acting. Yeah, well, I'll take your word for it. Right on, right on. Uh, you're gonna make tonight really fun. All right, I'm just gonna say it because everybody's thinking it. This man does not need a game when he's got skills and can serenade a girl like that. I mean, he's got Fonty worried, and he should be. I'm Guys, saying. go show Fonty some love. Tell him it's gonna be okay. Fonty, Tell Kenzie bro. not to leave him while you're at it. Well, that was amazing. Fonty, bro. That's just me. Really? That nigga about to take your bitch, bro. It's, it's, 
it's, see me. it's wait till, ooh, that nigga gone. See me playing a show. Oh, oh, are you inviting me to a show? No. I put you on my guest list. Oh my god, guest list. I play LA all the time. I'm playing uh, LA next month, actually. I'll definitely be there if I'm guest listed. Are you kidding? Clearly, girls like Tristan for his good looks or for his guitar skills. We're about to find out how far he goes with it, though, and if he's living that rock star mm. lifestyle. But no, we'll set up everything. Hopefully, they bring like the stage and the lights and everything. It was like looking good at the beginning when he wasn't here, looking at nothing. Up to an amp. Yeah. I mean, like I said, out there, I think I, I invited know, like, man. I really 40 people. Cheat. But I mean, you know how it is. They like they bring a plus one, and then the plus one brings a plus one. So it's probably gonna be packed in here. So hopefully, you don't get nervous about how many people are in here. Yeah. How many people have you performed for? Like, what's the biggest number? Six thousand. Six thousand. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't expecting that big of a number. It's, it's not. That's a bad crazy. Number. It's not a bad number. Has he really? Definitely not. He's just trying to flex on it right now. <laughs> It's nothing worse than when your girl is mad at you, bro. She says some hurtful shit, bro. Maybe you it was. Nervous in front of them? After years of playing big shows night after night. No. I guess that's true. I don't know. I I would get so nervous. I don't know how you don't do it. Maybe he is lying. <laughs> well, I mean, what are you doing tomorrow? No plans yet. Really? Well, I mean, when do you go back to Vegas? Monday. Monday. Oh, okay. So you're here for like the entire weekend. Yeah. Well. It's not too forward. He's giving, he's, he's gonna I was going to see it's him coming out tonight, and we'll get to know each other. But tomorrow, we can hang out one-on-one -on -one and get to know each other more. All right, here we go. Plus, I mean, tomorrow we can go to, like, bars and stuff like that. Definitely. So we can just Definitely. do it all again. <laughs> that would be sweet. So are you, like, seeing anybody? No. Really? <laughs> Damn. That's it, bro. That's the nail in the coffin. He just said he's not seeing nobody. No girlfriend? Nope. Is it just like a bunch of crazy fangirls? Always a few. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm sure they're like... <laughs> well, I mean, if you would be down, yeah, tomorrow we'll, we'll go and we'll hang out one-on-one. -on -one All right, now, Fonty, remember, this is just a decoy, bro. She's just being a decoy. Yes, he's flirting with her and trying to get with her, but just saying that it's fake. You don't gotta fucking attack this nigga. Just relax, bro. No, it's not other. your loyalty test. I mean, Remember have you that. ever taken like any of your fans or whatever seriously? Like, have you like, do you date to date them or do you just like hook up with them, ghost them, and leave? Uh, I just want to know that I'd be taken seriously and I wouldn't be lied to. I wouldn't do that. Stop. You Cap. promise? Promise. Okay, perfect. Fucking Pinky gosh. Promise. Pinky you can't promise. break that. Oh, oh ew. perfect. Yeah, well, then I, was, tomorrow... I wasn't going to say ill, but I said oh, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll hang out. And we can Ooh, get to know boy. each other more. Right, well, but whatever you want to do, we down. can do it. Yeah. Hopefully, I get another one on one show tomorrow. Yikerville, bro. Uh, Holy moly. I see, I see what you're getting at. <laughs> oh, this is. Damn. This is great. Is that an automatic bill? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that is a fail. I don't even know. There's no point of even seeing anything more. We can go eat. I mean, there's literally we nine minutes. We can spend all day. We can even crash here. I've got a guest bedroom if you have to. I wouldn't want you driving Sweet. home. Sweet. Christina now had a decision to make. Did she want to keep this thing going to a second day? Or had she heard enough? What's your favorite spot here? Gosh, I don't even know. No, really you got to do the second day. I mean, there's nine minutes. I don't think she did. Sunset and we'll hit up the beach. We have to. Yeah. I mean, I've seen everything here. But I'll do it again, just for you. Do you need to keep listening to it? No, definitely not. I think we should... I don't know. Just go downstairs, get it over with. You want to just go downstairs, yeah. get it over with? Sometimes you got to let it go to day two so they have no, like, undeniable pro uh, evidence, bro. Just like the one that we just watched when that nigga was a super villain, bro. Undeniable evidence, but... I'm not trying to put salt in the wound here, but it sounds like he's done this before. Like, yeah. it looks like he's definitely knows his strategy. Yeah, yeah, he does. But then again, this is what I wanted to see, so... Yeah. It's better to know the truth. Yeah. No, I'm done. So this is enough for you then? You don't want to keep it going? You don't want to see if he actually shows up to like a date? And what is there else to see? He just planned out a whole date with her and I'm standing right up there. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get mad at UDY now. Don't get mad at UDY. He's trying to help you out in terms of like giving you undeniable evidence. No, I've, I've seen everything I need to see. Yeah. That's, it's all clear. He knows what he's doing. Okay, no, what am I going to do? Stay Mr. with him? UDY. <laughs> Be okay? He's going to talk to every single girl like that? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, nothing we get it. The benefit of the doubt. <laughs> You're bad. No, for what? 
he told her he is not seeing anyone. And then what, he's going to come back home to Vegas and tell, tell me how much he loves me? I think I'm ready to go. Let's go okay. talk to him. I thought we were going to take things into a day two, but this thing was short and sweet. Christina was cutthroat. She is a no-nonsense type of girl. And hey, I don't blame her. She doesn't want to waste her time. Now, is this the worst fail on the channel? No. no. In fact, I feel like Tristan was trying to keep things professional, which is why his responses were short, sweet, and almost confused. But what really did him in was denying having a girlfriend. Yeah, why that's deny it. it? Why deny it? I'll take you to Mississippi. Yeah. You can come see Mississippi. Yeah, that There's would be not fun. much there. I hope Coming you guys out. got your talkies for this one, because you guys already know. Oh, fucking. This shit's gonna be good. I just realized there was no sponsor in this video. First time ever. So this is what you're doing when you're working, huh? Right, lying and sneaking around? Trying to get at bitches? Oof. Uh, what's with the, uh... Um... How are you gonna be with another bitch What's and act stupid the, uh, right now? Hold on, stop calling Why her a bitch. Are you, here, huh? are you slow? We just saw you asking this girl out and trying to go on a date with her. We've been watching you this whole time. Watching me? You call this business? Uh, yeah, I was booked to play a gig. A, a gig? Where you're- <laughs> I fucking hate when they act clueless, bro. There's cameras right here. In your face. You see your girlfriend has a mic on her shirt. You see the guy that was just here a few minutes ago talking to this supposed girl that you were flirting with. Um, and you think they don't have cameras? You don't think that girl that's talking to you right now has a mic and we didn't hear and see everything? It's like, come on, bro. You're asking the client on dates and planning a whole date with her? Are you you're gonna act stupid? We just heard you. We have all the proof we need. Proof of what? What are you talking about? So Tristan, this entire thing has about? just been a loyalty test. None of this is real. Like, Kinsey doesn't really live here. This house is actually a rental. It's not her birthday tomorrow. There is no birthday party tonight. Madeline and Violet aren't really her friends. And there is no gig. Nobody's coming to play to the party tonight. This was all just like an elaborate plan to help Christina find out if you'd say low to her or not. She was upstairs watching and listening in the entire time and she heard you deny having a girlfriend. She heard you saying that you weren't seeing anybody and yeah. A loyalty test. <laughs> wow. So you set me up. Yeah, you just said you're not dating me. Look, why are you even mad? I mean, I was just I was just telling her what she wanted to hear. She's a client. I wasn't gonna like Oh, do she's anything. a client, so you're trying to hit on the client. You said we weren't <laughs> You see? You see, you see, this is why you let it go to a day two. I know she was getting upset and stuff, and I, I, I kind of don't like the way she was kind of like, I mean, she tried to keep it respectful with UDY, so I do appreciate that, but I don't like how she started kind of catching an attitude with UDY because he was trying to give you undeniable evidence because they always take this route where they're like, oh, well, I wasn't actually going to do it. I was just saying it because of blah, 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 doing it what she wanted to hear. You know, I'm a music artist. I don't want to upset my client, so I'm just saying this so that she... She thinks that I'm good. And then I wouldn't actually show up to the date after I played her birthday party. But if you let it go to a day two, yes, it does cause a little bit more pain. But you can be like, okay, he showed up to the date. He would actually do this. Now I can go confront him. He can't say that they, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, serious. I was just telling you what you wanted to hear, you know? Like, uh, you know, it's, you could have just talked it over. Like, why did you go to all this trouble? This is paranoid. This is just, I'm just processing this right now like this is insane what is there to process you got caught cheating you're oh. trying to get another you you said we were nothing serious are you gonna say that to my face right now i was just telling you what she wanted to hear is that what she wanted that's, to hear that's, that's what he's gonna your stay client, on your client your client is that what she wanted to hear i just need to get the job done you look like a dumb f right now what what are you doing business is business uh-huh how is this a job you're not playing you're not doing anything you're just trying to get at her i mean I can't, I, I can't even believe you're mad right now. Like, I'm the one who should be mad. Like, I got dragged all the way out here and I- So you don't, so you don't think you did anything wrong? Is what you told Kinsey, did you just tell her that just to say it? Did like, were you lying? Wrong? Or do you- I've been scammed, man. Like, here, yeah. you dragged me all the way out here from Vegas. Like, I brought my stuff and now you, I find out there's no gig. Mm. Who's gonna pay me for all of this? Is Who's that the- pay me for that that's the only thing you care about. We're, we're gonna give you something for sure. We're not gonna pay you like for the gig and all that stuff, but we will give you something. Well, I want my rate. Why are you only focused on the money right now? Well, I want my rate. Off, that's why. Yeah, of course your broke ass wants it. Bro, you got played by my girl and you're about to lose you're yours. You might as well just f nut up and just admit to your You're literally losing me right now and you just, the only thing you care about is trying to get out of poverty, I'm guessing? Get out. I'm a working man, you know? Man's gotta make a living. Do you want it? <laughs> this is fucking crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is crazy, Brad. You want to even just maybe apologize to her? I don't know. I don't know if that will fix Apolo things or not, but it's a start. Apologize? Apologize for what? Can you spell narcissist? You set me up. Like, <laughs> maybe for bullshit. trying to get at another okay. girl. <laughs> you have the gorgeous... You have like this gorgeous model perfect Yeah, you saw what you're saying. <sighs> See, this is the... Don't, don't go say that shit, bro. Don't, 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 don't. Look at my hand, bro. Don't, 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 don't go say that shit, bro. This is the, this is the problem with today and age is that you, everybody, every, all these girls are calling each other perfect and, and all of this bullshit, bro. Does she look good? Okay. Does she have a great personality? We don't fucking know. We've only seen her for 27 minutes so far. And a lot of that 27, a large percentage of that 27 minutes has been focused on this guy. So do we really know if she's a good girlfriend? You can't call her a perfect girlfriend. We don't know what they fight about. We don't know what happens behind the closed doors. We can't just assume she's a perfect girlfriend because she looks good. That's all I'm saying, bro. That, that's all I'm saying. That's the problem, bro. We filling each other's heads up with lies, bro. Blowing smoke up each other's asses, bro. You have this perfect girlfriend. Imagine this nigga says, no, she's not perfect, bro. She be cheating on me, too. Like You didn't have a girlfriend the entire time. Now, that's not me. Okay, again, I'm not trying to gaslight, and I'm not trying to make it seem like it's her fault at all. I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out a different issue here about telling everyone they're perfect, bro. There is no such thing as perfection. You were like, oh, it's whatever. Where's my money? That makes you a cheater. I was You're just cheating. trying to get through the job so I could get my money. Get home today. I think you need to just pack up your things and leave. So if this were real, you don't think anything would have happened? You don't think that you guys would have had a drink tonight? Yeah, we're right? supposed to like not go on a date in LA not tomorrow. You don't think none of that was Absolutely gonna happen? Not. So you were just saying everything? You know what's crazy? I did actually say this earlier. I was like, he's gonna be like, oh, you know, I don't want to upset the client. You know, it's her birthday, so I'm gonna just tell her everything she wants to hear. I said that shit earlier. And I know, well, I don't know if any of y'all are watching this all the way through, but if you did, you'd know I said that shit earlier. Just to say every day. Because it's a possibility that that is actually the truth. Now, I'm not saying this nigga is not a fucking asshole, because he clearly is. He's like, why are you even mad? Like, that's that, the, that nigga's being a fucking dickhead. But there's a high prob probability he's actually telling the truth, where he's like, you know, I didn't want to upset the client. She's paying me. So, yeah, she's asked me out on a date. So I said, yes, but... After this gig tonight, the birthday party, I'm not going to see her again. Like, you know what I mean? So, but said, you know, I got who hired knows? for the job and you know And who knows now because she didn't want to go through a phase two. I think if she took this to a phase two, we would have found out if this what he's saying is truthful or not. It's my job to keep her happy, right? I told you. Right, okay. So he's clearly not gonna admit to anything. I, there's no point. So it's dicking her down, keeping her happy? Where the uh, my money? Oh do you my think do you think God. <laughs> How do you Where deserve the, the money, money right now? Because I'm... You don't care about losing me, you don't care about your reputation, but you care about, what, the money? So you're a con man. A, a con man? Look, look at this! A con man? Nigga, what? No, nah, bro. You, you can't call this nigga a con man and this is what y'all are doing to <laughs> A con man? What? <laughs> I just got, I just told I was here for a gig, like, this is the con. You got caught in the act, bro. Shut the up. The con, you're fine. Tristan, just, down. just you leave. You what are you posing? Pose just it. leave. Now look at you. 6,000 people. She said you didn't even play to 300 people. I did play for 6,000 people. Tristan, can you just leave? I told you, I told you this nigga Fonty was going to get in a fight with this nigga, bro. I knew it from the second I saw that little clip in the beginning. Why are you even mad? I'm the one who got dragged out here and scammed. This is just a total scam. You're a bunch of... Who the f*** are you anyway? My name's Fonzie. Fonzie? I've yeah. never heard of it. Fonzie, no, 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 no. Bro, can you Fonzie. just leave? Can you get the f*** out? You're actually embarrassing me right now. You're actually embarrassing me. I'm gonna go try to find a real gig. Why don't you? I'm in LA. Maybe you'll be able to get out of poverty, too. Ah, uh, good luck. God damn. So did you really play for 6,000 people? <laughs> Look at my Instagram, bro. It's all there. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out, bro. I think maybe there's still a possibility that you could save your relationship if you talk to your girl, come clean to your girl, apologize. I don't know something. You wouldn't apologize? want to apologize. Apologize for what? I just got scammed, man. You attempted. Bro is like a robot. Bro is like a robot. He's using the same lines. It's, he's like an NPC, bro. Literally, is using the same lines. He said that the exact same way, like the exact same cadence, 
every time this nigga brought up apologize. Apologize? Apologize for what? I got scammed, man. Like, <laughs> what? This is a NPC. Did to cheat on her with me. You, I was just playing along. That you should fine. grab that guitar and play the same sh you played for my girlfriend and see if you can win her ass back. Maybe I'll grab hey, that guitar and smash it over here. Oh, oh God. Hit me over the head with you. Oh, that's the tone, bro. Nine blink one eighty two. Oh, okay, that's cute. That's so cute. I'm walking away with my girlfriend. You just lost yours, bro. So have fun wanking your. Another one, dude. It's in L. A. Come on, babe. Let's go. This is L. A. This is a red door. Unless you want to pay action, you can't. Back to Mississippi or wherever. Mississippi. That's right. Mississippi. She is from Mississippi. You were just hitting on her. Oh, yourself. Hey. On my couch. Go back to the 2000s, bro. <laughs> the 2000s. Rose an NPC. Douche, bro. Gene Simmons wants his belt back. I don't know what the hell is happening or going on. These Gene two Simmons rock stars wants his belt are back. about to throw hands. <laughs> what were these insults? <gasps> if all you're concerned about is money, if, you're, if your phone is connected to your elbows up. Come on, princess. You and your 6,000. People are outside. Hey, bro, that's 6,000 more people than your ass has ever played for. Yep. Well, at least I'm honest. Uh, Biggest crowd I've ever for was 500. Overrated. Sold out. He's Sick. overrated just like your f***ing hairstyle. Yeah, dude, that's all you say is my f***ing hairstyle. Uh, hey, Maybe goodbye, everyone. Nice knowing you. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Goodbye, loser. Oh, bye. Bye, bye sweetheart. Have fun in Vegas. 6,000 people in my ass. <laughs> yeah, guys, piece of sh I can't lie, bro. I was not. I actually, this is what I was saying earlier, bro. She basically just said, I follow guys on Instagram after photo shoots, but that doesn't mean anything since I'm a girl. That's what I said, bro. I was like, you can't, you can't pull that double standard. But like, like UDY said, we're here. They were here to help her. So we shouldn't argue with her. And then I quit, I quit on it too. I was like, you know what? I won't even say anything because he's right. We, we need to see it. This nigga's going to cheat on her. And, uh, it looks like he did. So sorry guys. Got another cheater in the books. Maybe we'll find an episode where the nigga stays loyal. <laughs> Or the girl stays loyal. We don't know, bro. We haven't seen many girls cheating anymore. Well, actually, that one time. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.